Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, we are going to deploy a Kali Linux within the Azure uh, environment. So all you need to do is once you log in to your Azure portal, you go to the create a resource plate. And from here, you see that you have the left hand side, there's lots of information available and some popular deployments that will show up over here. Uh, go to compute and uh, in this compute uh, you can click on the virtual machine because that's what it is that you're going to deploy and over here uh, under the image you see there's some few default things that's probably the most popular ones that are already selected in here click on this link browse all public and private images okay so that's going to open up this pane Again, from here, go to your compute and here, just search for the Kali and there we go. So we have a Kali Linux and it says deploy a professional grade penetration testing platform. Okay, so now the deployment is very simple from this point. I would think it would be. So just uh, go to the deployment. Let's just call it Kali. Let's uh, deploy in, a, in my favorite location, which is us east recommended oh, that's something new i haven't seen so they're already recommending some region so let's use east east us2 um i just i don't need anything fancy so i'm just gonna go with a really really small one vcu and 0.5 gigs of memory that's all i need um, authentication type I always prefer using the SSH key so I'm gonna stick to that one as your user is fine it's gonna generate the key for me and keep your name is gonna be the Kali key I'm gonna keep the SSH port 22 open uh, everything else you can configure but that's not the main focus of this exercise okay, you can if you want you can go and use a standard HDD or standard SSD, but you're gonna lose some uh, lose some SLA if you change anything like that. So you have a SLA warning, right? So I'm just gonna stick to the premium SSD. Uh, if you want, you can use your own custom manage key. You can create a disk transcription. Uh, if you want, you can do that using uh, the key vault. Uh, right now. I don't want that. I want the, the uh, encryption at rest at a platform manage key is fine for me. If you want, you can add additional data disk. Uh, networking, it's it's going to create some stuff for me. So it's going to create a virtual network, Kali group virtual net, which is fine. If you want, if you have your own configuration, you can do this part even before you are creating your virtual machine. But it's nice of Azure that you know and they just bundle everything together so you don't have to worry about too much uh, management boot diagnostic OS diagnostics uh, usually I turn this one on so this one will give matrix data every minute for my virtual machine we can use this to create alerts and stay informed on my application so that's important to me so I always turn it on it's going to use a diagnostic storage account so you can use that one or if you have an existing account you can store your your diagnostic data to that storage auto shutdown I usually enable that just to save us some money so if I don't for if I forget to shut down the machine if I know that I'm not going to use it it will shut it down at 7 p.m. in that name right so that's good Notification before shut down. No, I don't really need. I don't really care. Uh, if you need notification, go for it. And then advanced. I'm really not. Uh, don't need to install anything else. So let's go to the next one. Tags. You can add tags. Whatever your MS resource usage. Say, lab. Okay, so you can use your own tagging if you like and then over here do review and create is going to run a validation and 
it will tell you whether it thinks that it, it can properly deploy and if it can it is you can start the deployment it, it's a you create button that is not enabled here it will become available to you as soon as the validation is successful the validation doesn't really take too long so here it says validation passed okay I need a preferred phone number in here and then we can deploy okay so I got it and then so it's if you can review what you're deploying again it's uh, I'm gonna deploy it under the subscription under this resource group name of the virtual machine is going to be the Kali we are deploying to the East US 2 region we have not configured any redundancy uh, we're going to use the Kali Linux image um, we are not using a very heavy powerful machine we're just using a bare bone with only one virtual core uh, with 0.5 gigs of memory okay uh, SSH key would be the authentication type username is going to be the Azure user keep your Kali key and uh, some other stuff networking and management all looks good okay here are some more uh, tags and stuff there they have given us all right now this is important this uh, key because we are using key you cannot lose the key and you have to download the key at this time if you don't then you will never gonna get the key so I'm just gonna click on it and here it is it's asking to save the key so let's save it okay so now the deployment has started and let's make sure this is where it's stored the key is stored under downloads So that's good or right, if you see the deployment is still going on and you can follow the deployment from this blade or you can also come over here click on this button and it is also going to tell you a lot of information about different notifications okay so this is the deployment notification that is going on the deployment usually doesn't take too long so just kind of watch here and once the deployment is done it will show up and it will say yeah your deployment is done so let's pause the video for a second and once it's done we'll come back uh, log into the machine make sure it's working and we'll end the video at that time all right so it looks like the deployment has failed and sometimes it's going to happen to you so you need to understand and kind of understand what has failed okay so if you look at ip creation is good nsg is good finet is good storage account was created fine uh, networking was fine uh, some more storage account stuff is fine compute the virtual machine deployment was fine uh, then the shutdown that we said that it just shut it down at seven o'clock was fine only thing that's missing that didn't go well looks like <coughs> the Linux di <coughs> diagnostics excuse me so this is telling me it's not too bad okay the only thing if you want you can go and uh, try to reinstall the Linux diagnostic and I have seen this happening especially when you have a virtual machine when you're not using enough RAM like we're using a bare bone machine this happens time to time okay but let's look at what is the detail it says the VM has reported a failure when processing extension Linux diagnostic error message enabled failed more information on troubleshooting available at then it's gonna give you uh, the troubleshooting type and if you want you can go to the raw error and take a look at it so it's telling me other than diagnostics everything is fine so if we try to deploy another machine with 
probably a little bit more RAM and CPU, it should take care of the problem of the diagnostic. The diagnostic is not what we're interested in. We're interested in the machine. So let's see if the machine is available to us. So now go to just uh, search for virtual machine. So click there. And there is my machine. And is it running? Yeah, it's running. Look at that. So click on the machine. Now how do you get to the machine? this is the IP address that Azure has created so you just copy this one and uh, before you do the SSH the easiest way to go for there connect and then click on the SSH button right here now it's gonna tell you this is the command that you need to run to be able to connect to your virtual machine now this is important okay so and I'll show you what it's telling you okay so if I, if I copy this one copy from here okay uh, private key path so we're gonna go to the private key path so city downloads ls and we have the Kali key over here so now if you paste the command since this is in my path I don't need this much okay so it's a sage dash i then the username is the azure user at the server where we, the machine is running that's all we need but if you click on this one uh oh it says oh we need to provide we, we need to provide the the name of the file okay so just put uh, come on call the pm so that's your file okay and then you're providing everything else uh, if you hit enter and you say yeah go ahead and uh, accept the authenticity of the host this is the problem that you will see okay this is it's, it's gonna say unprotected private key and it's gonna say that your key has bad permissions okay but Azure is already telling you the solution. It's telling you the file got too much of a permission and just give that file a 400 permission. Okay, so run this command and you gotta run this as sudo and paste provide your sudo password cannot x. Okay, so that's a sample command. So <laughs> make sure you have uh, the right file when you are doing all right so that's the file that where we want to change the permission so let's do that so now it's fine at this time you go back and run the command again ssh i kali key pm and then as your user and the server name if you hit enter it should log in to the kali box directly and we are logged in and just take a look at it ls um, ls home as your user there is some in aux automation or something there so ls bar there is some stuff in there ls opt okay there is some stuff in there as well uh, let's do a top on it yeah looks like it's all working and good so that's pretty much all so our machine is available everything is working uh, the one thing that didn't get installed you can go back and try to reinstall and troubleshoot or just use a different little bit powerful machine and that uh, installation hopefully would go just fine all right that's all i wanted to cover in this uh, video short videos if you have a need to create a kali linux uh, within the Azure portal now you know how to do that uh, just be careful use the private key especially with Kali Linux box you gotta be extra careful with your authentication and with that thank you for watching if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe and share it with your friends thank you